welcome. Anisha Howard, Brandy Glasky, your product you created, Chub Rub and Baby Chub Rub. First of all, explain what it is, where the name came from, and what you're trying to kind of help out here. Sure. Um, Chub Rub was uh, created to, um, it was a, as a solution for uh, chafing for women um, initially. And um, a lot of women from size 6, I know, really, um, they'll have uh, chafing among their thighs. And um, this was something that we wanted to create that would be like an all-natural solution to that. So um, we decided that chub rub was really fitting because that's almost like a slang term for it. And um, once we, we created it, Brandy's actually um, really helpful with uh, in the kitchen. So she knew a lot about ingredients and what does what and different type of reaction. And so we just we worked it out. We started uh, making it in the kitchen in the wee hours of the morning once the kids were in bed and um, came up with a product that we, we really believe in and we really feel is effective. Um, what areas are you targeting specifically on women, and then we'll talk about the babies as well. Sure. Um, the like, inner, inner thighs is like a huge problem. I mean, you're wearing these, you know, cute little short skirts in the summer, and, and you know, you want to be comfortable, and um, it, it really helps. Um, for babies, um, yeah. we're working on areas, you know, you get the adorable little, you know, baby fat, which we all love and adore, but for them it can be really uncomfortable, and there really isn't a product on the market specifically to address that, and so we came up with a solution. Why an all-natural solution? Um, all-natural is really important to us because um, we try to buy as many all-natural products as we can, and especially when we're looking at the baby product. Um, there's uh, such a lack of all-natural baby products, and especially since, Brandy you mentioned, there's nothing that specifically targets um, chafing for, for baby chub and the little rolls of fat. We just thought it was really important to try to keep as many natural products on our babies as possible. And of course on our own skin, it's just healthier, it's better for the environment. It was just things that were really important to us. Mm -hmm. And we had a lot of people say, oh, you're not going to be able to do it. You're going to have to do this and that, and you're going to really need to start mm -hmm. it, looking at um, adding ingredients that aren't natural. And it was just like, you know what, if you know it takes us longer to figure it out, we're going to figure it out and we're going to make a natural product. Is this a year-round product or is this more just for winter, especially the, the adult form of it? Well, it's funny you ask, because originally we thought, okay, this is going to be great in the summer, but we're finding it, um, especially the people that are buying it and giving us feedback, they're using it year-round, especially mm -hmm. even in the fall now, we've got the longer skirts and the big boots we like to wear, and it's um, something that women can use all year round, and with the babies especially. All right, let's talk about how it works. Okay. Because that's what everybody <laughs> wants to know. You've got a container of it here open. Yes. The first thing I was surprised yes. at was it's it's more liquidy. I thought it would be more like a hand cream. Nope. Um, it's actually like a liquid powder is what we like to consider it. Um, it has a, a bunch of cooling agents in it, and it also has um, uh, really relaxing as well. It has lavender. Um, it's a really great scent. And um, once you apply it, it will be kind of uh, wet for at first, and then it'll dry mm -hmm. really quickly. And um, and once it does, um, there'll be like a little bit of a powder, and it'll disappear. And it lasts eight, ten hours. You can how do you all apply it? Like how would I yep, apply it? You just it? dip in, um, and then you just put it on your inner thighs sparingly. Or? Um, no, you can use yeah, like that's good. You that's can use good. A good amount, and then and you'll feel it as soon as you put it on. You feel it. it's a really cooling, um, silky feeling, and um, it's it's wonderful. It works amazing. It's kind mm -hmm. of like. The only thought that comes to mind is like almost like a liquid powder, which it doesn't is. exist, but that's what the thought yeah. comes about mm -hmm. when you put it on. Yeah, and yeah, and it's interesting. A lot of people give us feedback, and the fact that we created it, they're still just blown away. Like, how did you do this? And it smells good too. It does. It mm -hmm. smells really good. And like I said, with the lavender, it's soothing for fussy babies, especially if they're experiencing chafing and chub rub. Now I do have dry skin, probably, <laughs> but you can see in the lines of my hand, kind of a powdery residue. Yep. But that's what you say will go away. Yep, absolutely. Yep. Um, it, it takes a couple of minutes, and you're walking or moving around, especially on the baby. Babies, but the neat thing about it is it doesn't stain your clothing, it wipes right off, um, and, and once it dries, stays. yeah, it stays on. And I think that's probably the magic behind it. It's not something you have to reapply, get out of the shower, put it on, get dressed, and the rest of your day you're comfortable. How much? Because everyone wants to know. We all want a good deal. <laughs> yeah. what we're getting. Um, whether it's the uh, four ounce baby chub rub or um, the four ounce uh, chub rub by Salvation, it's fourteen ninety five. So we felt that it was really affordable. Um, even the feedback we've gotten on our website, a lot of people order and think, "Oh my gosh, I thought it would be so much more like boutique prices." But mm -hmm. no, we're moms. We get it. We wanted it to be affordable for everyone. Your youngest kids are two years old, mm -hmm. and is it something though for the baby chub rub? Is it something that not knowing what even as though it's all natural, what skin irritants, you should try it out on like a little area first on your baby. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah, with, as with anything, as with anything, yeah, absolutely. Um, but like I said, when our, both our, our Brandy is a daughter, the littlest of mine is a little boy, and um, they both had chafing. Their little babies are chubby, so. There's but, nothing to address that. You know, everyone says use cornstarch, use baby powder, and that lasts for a few minutes, but. Plus, yeah, that yeah. talc is not healthy for them to be inhaling. No, so this and is it gets an answer. Mompreneurs. 
Let's talk about that title. Absolutely. You both are young women. Mm -hmm. You have full-time jobs. Yes. Husbands. Yes. And three kids. Yes. Each and How are you doing all this? How's that possible? <laughs> well, um, as Brady always says, our typical day is we get up in the morning, you know, 6 a.m., we get the kids off and ready to school, um, daycare, whatever, uh, help our husbands get everything out the door, and then um, Brady goes to work, um, mm -hmm. I go to work, and we will work all day long. I still, both of us have to stop our days in the middle. We go mm -hmm. pick up kids from school, drop them up for Bonnie's, go back to work, um, soccer practice, you name it. And then once we get home, it's homework and dinner and baths and stories, and it's unreal. Um, our husbands then come home, and we yeah. do dinner and a little time <laughs> with them, and then usually by the time our day is done, quote unquote, we're over at one of the other's houses at 10 o'clock, and we're fulfilling orders, and we're discussing, you know, different media samples that we got, mm -hmm. and then we just keep it going usually till about 2, and we do this probably three or so nights a week. Yeah. Um, orders we've had for the you week, make so. this all yourself. You yes. mentioned to me that on a good night, you can make 500 of these. Yeah. I mean, you're mm -hmm. packaging, you're producing everything mm -hmm. in both of your homes. Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. We pretty much have to learn um, our, on our own, do a little research and figure out how to do everything. And that's the key with all of this. And we have so many moms approach us locally and say, how do you do this? I've got a bigger product. What do I do? And um, I think the biggest thing is that if you just try it really hard <laughs> and you do research and you believe in it, you're going to make the time and find the time to pursue the dream. Right. What do you say to people that say, you girls are in your late 20s, early 30s, you guys have more energy. What do you say to women in their 40s who are moms, who have full-time jobs, but maybe have always wanted to create or do something more than just be a mom? Well, if it's something that you really love, like Anisha and I, I mean, it's... Yeah, we're tired and we call each other. It's like, okay, you ready to do this tonight? I guess. Yeah, okay, <laughs> come on over. You know, when we get into it, we're having a ball. We I know. love doing this. It's a it's a break for us, even though we're working. And, and it's really it's about what we love doing. Where so you want to be and what you want to do. Exactly. Us, maybe, I don't think it's the energy. I think it's the fact that we have small children. We have a dream and we want to create the best future possible for them. And that's a huge motivator. So, I mean, I think whatever it is, if you don't, even if you don't have children, if you have a dream, you just figure out whatever it is motivate you. Ours is our kids. And the roadblocks. I mean, you just, you know, you're going to encounter them. We encountered a million roadblocks, but you just push Don't through up. and you find a way. Did you stumble across this? In other words, was this something that you just kind of, uh, it, it kind of hit you in the face or did you set out really to create this whole product line and make actually the product yourself? When we started talking about it, it was just a conversation about, you know, I really hate this. Like, you have that? Yeah. It's really obnoxious and you know, is there and anything, there anything out there? Out the market? And, and especially after having babies, I mean it mm -hmm. takes a while to get back in shape and it was just one of those things that women kinda don't talk about for some reason. Mm -hmm. But the more we talk to other women, they're like, I get that, what do you do? Mm -hmm. And um, you know, we did a lot of research and tried to see what was on in the market and nothing. And it just seemed like a great niche for us. It was just a really fun project yeah. that we could get behind and get into. All right, so where do folks find this if they want to find out more about you guys? Our website is thighsalvation.com. I know. <laughs> so they can definitely find more information. Um, it's a really fun, interactive website and um, talks a little about us and our family and our mm -hmm. husbands and it really kind of just makes them understand what the product is and how well it works. We wish you guys luck. Thank Started you so with $100 much. for you. this whole line and Thank you. see how it goes with holiday season. Thank you. Thank you, girls. Mm -hmm. You're watching.